Well, I had nothing better to do, so I watched another episode of The Titans. Uh, I I think I'll dip in and out as it comes to uh, doing videos on it, rather than doing every episode, because uh, it, it started off really poor. Uh, but lo and behold, uh, they did an episode that's uh, kind of, sort of, not bad. Uh, it's certainly the best one of this season. Uh, called Aqualad, yes, uh, left it a bit uh, vague as to why the original Titans uh, broke up and uh, why does Deathstroke hate them so much? Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> notice no one mentions Aqualad. <laughs> yes, there's a spoiler. Uh, so, this episode was a flashback. Um... And, uh, boy, it could be filler. No, no, it's not. It explains a necessary story. Uh, to, and it shows kind of the beginnings of how they got to where they were. Uh, well, certainly Dick Grayson. Uh, you know, and as the, the flashback shows, he's happy Dick. <laughs> uh, well, Hawk and Dove have broken up, and uh, Dove decided she wanted Dick. Grayson, and uh, so they're together, uh, but the team's still uh, together, and uh, they ha show them in action, uh, they're saving people's lives and all this sort of thing, and um, and then there's this uh, budding romance between uh, Wonder Girl and Aqualad, but Wonder Girl is expected to return to Paradise Island, known as the Mascara, yeah, yeah, and uh, she's She's uh, afraid to be vulnerable and let her feel the feeling she has, which <laughs> you got him, you got him. That's the way it goes. Uh, and so uh, they finally, right when they, they, they get together and they do the deed, because, you know, Aqualide can get her, yeah. And, oh, he's dead. Now, uh, initially, it shows them uh, taking on Dr. Light, who, Dr. Light, uh, boy, I guess they're going with the, the stupid version of him, where he was kind of a buffoon for a while there. But this guy is just no good. He's not Dr. Light. And uh, they, they sort of kind of give him a, a, a kind of an outfit, but it's really cheap. It's like when you have an outfit, like Aqualad's outfit looks pretty good. Look, either be a superhero show or don't be. Uh, it's just going to be a bunch of guys who want to solve crimes, and that's it. Uh, but if, if you're going to have, you know, the Robin suit and all that, which looks good, uh, they're, and they're all kind of, we get to see Wonder Girl in her outfit, finally. Um, why is Dr. Light not in, you know, one outfit? Deathstroke has one, you know, and this will be, what, the third Deathstroke we've had in the past few years. We had the, the Arrowverse Deathstroke and the movie, which we only got a, a glimpse of, a uh, version of him. And now this guy, <laughs> who who's pretty good. It's it, Right now, Deathstroke's the only good part. Of the sh until now, and then we get a, a good showcase. And actually, uh, this flashback cast, uh, go with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's a little bit better. Um, so, uh, yeah, Deathstroke killed uh, Aqualad, and no reason as to why just yet. I assume we'll find out what that was about, because uh, uh, Donna is getting ready to leave uh, for the island, and uh, Aqualad shows up at the last minute, Don't go, Donna, I love you! And so she decides, Oh, I so want to be, you complete me! And run there embracing, and then, uh-oh, Deathstroke shoots Aqualad. And um, so, uh, why would he do that? Well, uh, somebody wanted, uh, probably uh, Donna Troy dead, but uh, hired, and uh, Aqualad got in the way, or something like that. And, and, and so now they know we're going to get this bastard. So you're, you're figuring, oh, there's going to be this big fight, and then Deathstroke, uh, you know, just whips their ass, and they decide, yeah, we're not cut out for this anymore and break up. No, that's not what happened. Uh, it, it, they locate uh, Slade Wilson, who is Deathstroke, and they plot they're going to go take him down, and then uh, Dub tells, now's your time to be Batman, Dick. So Dick is, our, is beginning to go to the dark side. And that's where we see him at the beginning of season one, where he's all violent and stuff. Of course, in that story, they were saying that he was uh, blaming everything on Batman uh, when it looks like, no, it's what happened here. So that's a 
bit of a problem. But I guess he figures Batman uh, got him into this m- uh, mode of thinking in the first place. But whatever. Uh, they kissed and made up, so that's all <laughs> over and done with. Uh, and so it, it, it shifts away, and they gave you a little vignettes here about Jericho, who's uh, the mute son of, uh, of Deathstroke, uh, not just his daughter Rose. So uh, he's one of these guys who <laughs> leaves the litter everywhere. <laughs> So uh, the ending scene is Dick Grayson shows up and starts uh, introducing himself and becoming friends with Jericho. And, of course, there's a scene where he pauses and he's got this sinister look. on his face. He realizes who this kid is and he's going to use him to get back at uh, Deathstroke. And so that's probably why Deathstroke hates them so much. Where's Jericho today? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, so... Of course, Jericho was a part of the Teen Titans, and I, as I recall it, I wasn't a big fan of the Teen Titans, even though they were really popular in the 80s and all that. Um, but I knew a little bit about it, and I could have sworn that I didn't Donna and Jericho, weren't they a couple? And, and maybe that'll happen. I don't know. But uh, so that's the setup, and it gives you a, a view of it. But I think the next episode goes back to present time, and so we'll probably get another one. But, uh, boy, there's, there's a template and stuff here in this episode to really pull it together, but there's still the problems and flaws and, uh, boy, the Dr. Light guy, uh, just, and there's the problem again with Dr. Light. One minute he's so powerful and the next minute, you know, Hawk and Dove can just kick him around and he's done. Uh, that does, and then Jason Todd Robin was just beating the crap out of him in the other episode and it's like is he super powerful or not uh and then donna troy she's got the the magic lasso and it it, you know it knocks him around here and there but it it should be able to take him over you know and you're done uh so it's one of those things where it's not really thought through and this happens a lot in superhero shows and in the comics as well where there's an an inconsistency of what the power levels are what the abilities are what one can do and that sort of thing and that's that's just the problem of writing superpowers but uh it's a problem here for this show as they can't seem to really get it together but uh still uh, aqualad was the the best of season two so far and uh also some really like deathstroke just steals the show when he shows up even though he's very briefly here uh and you uh <laughs> they give a little montage of him at work <laughs> i mean it's really horrible <laughs> but at the same time they did it very well <laughs> so uh if you're gonna check back on titans uh take a look at aqualad it's the, the best of the bunch and if they, it gets better than this one then uh, they may have something here maybe this uh, thing can recover but based on how it started uh whew, it uh yeah so anyway maybe there's there's hope for titans Thank you for watching and listening. Say why not like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my many stores that have plenty of goodies for you. Yes, that's right. You.